everyone here's a question from perimeter and area of class 7 this is exercise 11.2 the first question so the first question we have is we have to find the area of parallelogram and they have given five questions to us now five figures they have given we have to find out the area of each figure given now what is area how to find out the area of parallelogram so we have a direct formula which is base into altitude now we have to figure out which one is altitude which one is base for example, in the first figure you can see altitude is nothing but height, base into height also we can say or base into altitude, anything. So height here is 4, you can see whenever a line is drawn from vertex to the uh, opposite side of the parallelogram, it is nothing but the height of the parallelogram or the altitude of the parallelogram. So you can see here from this vertex we have drawn a line to the opposite side to this base, right? So this will become the height. So height here is 4 cm and the base here is 7 cm. And we know area of parallelogram is base into height or you can say base into altitude. Anything will be same. So let's find out the answer for the first one here. So I'm going to solve here. This is the first one. So area of parallelogram. Area of parallelogram is equal to base into height. So write down the formula base into height. Now substitute here. So here base is for the first one base is 7 centimeter and height is 4 centimeter so it will be 7 centimeter multiplied by 4 centimeter and we know 7 forza is 28 so we'll get 28 and the centimeter multiplied by centimeter is equal to centimeter square so area is 28 centimeter square for the first one now let's go for the second one now in the second one again you can see the height is nothing but the dotted line or the line which is drawn from the vertex to the opposite side uh, of the parallelogram. So here this is the height 3 cm and the base here is 5 cm. Same thing substitute in the formula. This is problem B. So base is 5 cm and height here is 3 cm. So 3 5 is 15 so we will get 15 cm square. The next one next one is again it's a parallelogram the height will be 3.5 here and the base will be 2.5 here so let's solve this so this is problem c base is 2.5 centimeter and height is 3.5 centimeter now you can multiply 25 into 35 that will be better so 25 into 35 will be 875 875 okay i'm not multiplying 2.5 and 3.5 instead you can multiply 25 to 35 so 25 to 35 is 875 and then you have to put decimal from the right side after two decimal after two digits because here after decimal we have one digit and here after decimal we have one digit so two digits totally so from the right side after two digit we have to put decimal so it will be 8.75 centimeter square the next one uh, here again we have you can see dotted line is this from this vertex we have drawn a line to the opposite side so this is the opposite side so this this will become base and this will become height so height here is 4.8 and the base here will be 5 centimeter see height has to be always a perpendicular so you can see we have made a 90 degree here this shows that this is perpendicular 5 centimeter cannot be height because this line is not perpendicular it has to be it should make a 90 degree with the base so let's substitute here the values so here for the fourth question which is D base will be 5 cm and height will be 4.8 cm so we have to multiply 5 and 4.8 when you multiply this two number we'll get 24 so 24 cm square or you can write down 24 24.0 or you can just simply write down 24 the last one here is it's similar to the D1 here we have a height you can see this is 90 degree right this line is making 90 degree with the base which means this will be height 4.4 and base will be 2 centimeter so let's substitute in this 
this is last one base is 2 cm and height is 4.4 cm so 2 into 4.4 will be 8.8 .8. so 8.8 .8 cm square so that's it we have applied one single formula that is area of parallelogram is base into height and we have solved all the problem only thing is we have to understand which one is base and which one is height I hope this question is clear. If you have any further questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.